Welcome back to Clean Phil Want It. I'm Phil. This is my workshop, and that is my abstract art. Uh, the pieces of a corner cabinet. I'll show you the actual picture of it right here. If you look at the molding at the top and the bottom of that corner cabinet, that's the molding that we made here by hand a few weeks ago. It actually turned out really, really good. What's going on right here is they're hanging up on a two x four as a drying rack and a drying. They have Danish oil on them. I did a method of, well, I think it's the wet on dry method. So you paint it on, allow it to dry for a day, lightly sand it with like a 240 grit paper and then apply another coat at least three times whenever you're done and happy with it after that you let it rest for 48 hours these are a little over 24 hours into that 48 hours they have about seven coats on them now i did not film the last two coats because quite frankly it's the same thing over and over again tips what you don't want happening is contaminating the main container you pour a little bit into a secondary container and you work from that. I didn't think that was really going to be a problem, but when I looked at that secondary container at the end of the first and second day, there was actually a lot more in there than I thought there was going to be. I did use a brush the first time because I wanted it to go on very, very thick. Subsequent coats were put on with a rag. I did sand in between each one with 240 grit paper. If your sandpaper gums up at all, just stop because that means the finish is not dry enough yet. Give it a couple more hours, come out, and then try it again. Too much longer, but I'll get you to the park. I'm tired. Cool though. Gotta get in the coat. Good morning. actually looks looks pretty good. Yeah. 
You won't be seeing that very often on this show. I don't have a biscuit joiner back in my storage unit, so you won't be seeing this very often, ever. They are very, very good at helping to line things up. That said, this is just supposed to be really a rebate joint. If I was doing it on the show, it would be a rebate. If I was doing it for an actual kitchen that I was making, it would probably be pocket holes. Um, I've never used a biscuit joiner before, and it's actually it's worked out pretty well. This is uh, felt from an old pool table. It was replaced. It's uh, actually very nice, smoke-free. Actually looks really good. That finish actually turned out really nice. It's a nice satin, very even satin finish. So I'm I'm actually okay with it. There is a second method where it's called the wet on wet technique with Danish oil. You paint it on, wipe it on, wait about 20 to 30 minutes, apply a second coat. 20 to 30 minutes, third coat, as many times as you'd like, at least three coats. At that point when you're done, you wait 48 hours, the same process. If I do this again, I will be following that method because this is just taking too, too long. One thing I do really like about it is that it actually smells like a workshop in here now. That stink makes it smell right. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Next week, I'm going to try to start using the wood that's over on this side. I think you can see it. And we're gonna to try to start making an actual cabinet. And I sanded away all my marks, so technically the molding that's on the top is supposed to be down here. The whole box is upside down.